So next we're going to a tricep motion. We're going to push down. I want you to lean. Nice clean 15. You do 15 to 20, because we, like I said, we just warming up the triceps before we get into it. Let's get it. First that I actually can't remember what weight I use, but like I said, we all going up with the weight this particular time. Go with the press. Remember pressing down. So be mindful, if you're trying to increase your bench, you need to work on forearms and you need to work on getting those triceps together. Because actually, actually you need to understand that when we're pushing and we're pressing, that's when, for one, we need the forearm for stability and then we do need those triceps to make sure they have enough strength to be able to push through the power. Let's get it. That's crazy, that's how you know I can't see, I can't even see the hole to put the pin in. So last set, let's go as many reps as possible. First, first two was cool. Like I said, warm everything up. So be mindful, these are kind of like you doing a push up for the most part. We're not doing extensions like this, this is extensions. We doing push down, push downs like this. Let's get it. So these right here, about to hit another tricep exercise. So as you can see, once we do a back, we go into a triceps for the most part. The only time we did, we went back to back was when we did rows and lap pull downs. Bring it in just like this. If you have these in your gym, take advantage. So fun fact, for me personally, I always, I don't know what it is. I love having a small bend every time I do triceps. I think it's because I got long ass arms and I just feel like when, it, when I'm standing up straight, it's too close to the body. So this give me a little bit of space. Bring the hips out a little bit. Make sure hamstrings nice and tight, tighten the lower back. Remember, you bringing these in, so we're not going out like this. Generally when you do ropes, you do ropes like this. You come out like this. I want you to come in and we're pressing down. Come straight down chest nice and tall, control up. I want you to come up as high as you can on this one and then bring it right back down. Come up as high as you can. I can't go any higher than this and I can't go any lower than this. Let's get it. Second set, I do want you to increase the weight. So this is this uh, particular exercise, we are gonna do progressive overload. If by the second set, you try to go up in the weight on the third set and you can't complete at least 10 reps, do me a favor and drop the weight. And then you still have to do, I don't care if you did eight reps and you ain't do the last two, you gotta do 10 again. Let's get it. Remember, press down, nice and clean. So do, my, do be mindful. On my last video I showed you when we did triceps, I said extend out. We're not extending out this time. We're pressing straight down. Remember, we're going straight down, straight up. 
One thing I love about using these in general, it's going to be a little difficult because these can shift if you don't have your press and placement center. Do be mindful of that. Let's get it. I will admit my jumps on this is pretty crazy. I think the first set I did 50, then I did about 80. Now I'm going all the way to 175. It is what it is. But when you feel good, go for it, shoot for it. Yeah, these, these night and day difference. I ain't gonna lie. With the weight, I gotta make sure my, everything's nice and solid. If you do go as heavy as I'm going on this one, do me a favor and wear a weight belt, for sure. That way you can just focus on contracting the triceps as much as you can. Two. I'm gonna do a drop set. So going to 140 now. But like I said, you'll notice it's very difficult to keep these position nice and centered when you go up with the weight. Drop it down again. That was 120. Going to 90 now. Woo. We're going to leave it out there right there.